Joining me now here on the MMA Report on Radio Influence, man, it's going to be stepping back into the Bellator cage coming on Saturday night, November the 19th, as he takes on Francis Carmont. It's Linton Vassell. Linton, as always, man, I appreciate time. Of course, uh, this matchup was supposed to happen earlier this year. You, you had to pull out of the fight. I got to imagine, since that card was uh, over in London, did that have to be one of the hardest decisions of your career to pull out of that fight? Yeah, that pissed me off. I was like, obviously... I, I was ready to fight, and then um, I got injured, and then I was like, no, this can't be happening. But, you know, I tried my hardest to continue training. That wasn't the case. Um, and I had to tell all my friends, friends and family, and they all bought tickets, you know. So um, that was just as hard as pulling out. You know, everyone had come to watch, and I was excited to fight, you know, back in my hometown. Um, yeah, so it was, um, you know, it was, it was heartbreaking. You know, when you, when you uh, was that something that you ultimately made that call, or was there people around you going, "Look, you you just can't take this fight. You you got to pull out." Yeah, it, it was a bit bit of both. Um, obviously, talking to my to my coaches, um, and they were like, "Yeah, you should you should do right." And then when it when it got infected, it was like, mm, "We'll see how it is the next day." And then I couldn't train, so I wasn't losing weight the weight like I, I was supposed to. And then I told Bellator, obviously, they were like, yeah, it's not, not the right thing. So it was, it was um, a bit of everything from everyone. Everyone was, you know, uh, a part of it. And, of course, uh, now you, you you now take on uh, Francis Carmont here, Bellator 165. Uh, is it just a – was this camp just a, a continuation of the preparations you were doing, or did you alter some things because of maybe some things you saw uh, Francis do in his matchup there in London? Um, to be honest, I, I just focus on, on my game. He, he's going to do whatever he's going to do. Um, he's probably going to work on stuff in it as well, so I, would, I wouldn't know. Um, but I just work on what I do do great and what I can do extra um, to work on him. Um, so, yeah, it's just been uh, a matter of case of just going back over stuff I previously did for, for July and then just adding new stuff in and just, you know, I'm getting sharper, staying, staying healthy. You know, is it one of those things where when you're in preparations for a fight, it's do you, you just allow your coaches to say, okay, you worry about who my opponent is and just relay that information to me? And, and so, you know, it, when you're just worrying about yourself as opposed to, you know, maybe being too concerned with, with what the opponent may be bringing to the table? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Um you know, I, I don't need to be worrying what he's going to do because at the end of the day, I'm the one that's going to be doing this stuff. Um, yeah, he's going to punch, kick, do whatever. I'm going to be ready ready for that. But, yeah, I pretty much watch his, his fights a couple of times and, and, and that's it. And then I just focus on what I'm going to do, um, to be honest. Obviously, you are right there in line for a title matchup. You know, Phil Davis now the champion, and, and a lot of people are kind of saying, "Okay, who is going to be that next guy?" You know, it, people are looking at King Mo, they're looking at yourself and, and Francis. I mean, are are you? Is your view of this fight is you feel like you are fighting for a title shot? Yes, a hundred percent. That's exactly the way the way I see see this fight. Even. Um, See my pre, my, my, pre, my my last fight as as that. I was thinking, you know, win this fight, get get a title fight. So I'm always, you know, looking looking to get get that title fight. So yeah, I definitely see this fight as um, a number one contender title fight. Do you think it's it's a situation where you have to go out and make a statement, or do you think just a win will be enough? Uh, I think I think statement is is, is the way forward. Um, you can win and try and play safe. They're going to be like, mm, yeah, whatever. You know, it wasn't exciting. Um, I'm not really going to book that fight. People don't want to see a fight that's not exciting, do they? I'm not going to sell. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking to, to finish. Um, and, and that's what I do. I like, I like to go in there to finish the fight. I don't go in there to play the long game. When, when you're in, inside the cage and you feel your opponent may not be totally hurt, maybe he's just partially hurt, how, how do you make that decision of whether you go for – uh, that kill shot is it just kind of a, it's an instinct type thing? It, it definitely is an instinct because um, people could also you know you might think someone's hurt but actually not, and you walk into something. It's it's definitely instinct. Um, you can tell from for me, I can tell when someone's someone's hurt and they want out. Um, I've, I've been there uh, obviously a few 
few times where I've got them out on someone, hit them a few times, they, they turtle up, they give me their back. And, that, and that, that's, that's the key. That's like, okay, you don't want it anymore. You're giving me your back to surrender. And then usually it's the TKO finish or it's, it's a, um, a submission. So, um, yeah, you think you know by instinct. I have to imagine that uh, you you did watch the Davis and McGeary fight. Were were you at all surprised of how that went? To be honest, I knew Davis would would, would go to his wrestling, so he did exactly what he had to do. Um, and obviously, it's it just just too much for McGeary to stop, to stop him. Um, but yeah, everyone knows um, Davis is a grappler, so he's gonna he's gonna grapple you. It's just just the way it is. I guess that kind of leads to the question: Is that your ultimately you expect Francis Carmont to, to try to grapple you, and, and that you're not, you know, fully expecting him to uh, want to sit there and, and have a, a striking match with you? I've got a feeling that it's going to be probably fifty-fifty. You know, it is at the end of the day, so um, you know, um, yeah, fifty. I'm going to be ready for whatever he's got because I could be expected to take me down. He doesn't. Or could expect him to strike, and he doesn't. So I'm I'm I'm, I'm ready for whatever he's got. Um, and watching his fights, he's, he's pretty much fit to fit anyway. He, he sometimes he, he's comfortable standing, or sometimes he's like I'm going to go straight for the takedown. So um, I'm just going to be ready for for whatever whatever he's got for me to be to be honest. And of course, this fight's going to be going down next Saturday night, November the nineteenth, Bellator one sixty five. Of course, the main card is going to be on Spike beginning at 9 p.m. Eastern time. As always, Linton, I appreciate the time, and good luck in the fight, man. Thank you very much. Pleasure talking to you.